Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is to answer a question concerning the uh, GPU or graphics processors, and mostly for those that have computers that have two graphics processors. Uh, a couple of questions came through, so of course gamers understand that you know it's a good thing to have a high performance GPU for gaming. Uh, I have a computer here that has two. Uh, graphics processors if I go to my control panel uh, or the device manager sorry and look at the display adapters I will have two display adapters here I have a AMD Radeon graphics and I've got a uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti the questions that arise is first of all there are non-gamers that bought higher end laptops that have two GPUs and the question is why do I have two graphics processors? Well it's simple it's because when you have higher end PCs often they will add a high performance graphics processor because gamers need that most of the basic graphics processors that are included on motherboards are rather crappy and any gamer is going to tell you that the Intel Ultra HD graphics or, you know, the basic Radeon graphics like I have here really don't perform very well. And so gamers like to have that more performance of GPU. So there's a second GPU that is added today to these uh, computers. The other question is, why do they add two and not just one? Isn't that kind of boosting the price of the computers? Well, the difference is because 10 years ago, an example is five or 10 years ago, when you would buy a computer, the CPU that you would have was only the processor. As time went by to save money, uh, manufacturers decided that maybe we should actually integrate the graphics and the processing in the same chip. And then they started actually coming out with graphics, with, with basically CPUs or central processing units that integrate the graphics adapter in it so that it's actually making it smaller and also sometimes it does add a little more performance in the uh, transfers of uh, information. But because they're integrated with the CPU, that also means that if you wanna have a uh, high performance, you have two choices. You have to add a high performance GPU to the CPU, or you have to have a separate graphics processor. So the idea is well, if we are to make CPUs that have integrated graphics, if you have or want to have high-end PCs with its own high-performance graphics processor, you need to add that. So it actually makes two graphics processors. Uh, one of the questions that a lot are asking also is, well, why don't you just disable the onboard crappy general graphics GPU and just leave the high-end GPU. Um, it is not a good idea most of the time because it often creates problems that are related to the fact in the way that they actually interact. So often if you do that, it uh, there's many reports of people are gonna say, well, on certain apps or certain things that I do, actually the screen goes blank. And that's because it's meant to be used with both processors being enabled. What happens is that the processors and the way that the design is done, it actually tries to detect and see which processor is the best to use. The other thing is, especially on laptop, battery usage. If you are using only the high performance graphics GPU, you will see that your battery life is a lot lower because that higher end GPU also means more power is consumed to do the same tasks because they are high performance. They require more power to work. So you wanna have both. And in general, what you want is leave it alone, especially if you're not a gamer, you leave it alone the majority of tasks are done with the 
standard GPU, which uses less power. And for, you know, applications like just running Windows and, uh, you know, doing everyday tasks and watching videos on YouTube, it's perfect. It, it works okay on that. There's no problem there. It's really if you start doing high, um, you know, applications that demand higher graphics power. Now, there are two ways that this happens automatically. So if you start a game, technically your computer should see that and actually activate the high performance GPU automatically. Or there's, of course, manual ways in the settings app in Windows. You can actually manually uh, say, well, that app needs to work with that high performance processor to work better. But overall, you just leave it like that and leave the computer to decide, uh, especially if you're really not a gamer, you're just a regular user, because the standard graphics processor will consume less power and also generate less heat in your computer. Hope that answers the questions concerning the computers with several GPUs now that are available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.